The Flash is one of the most popular and successful superhero shows on TV. It has been running for nine seasons and has won many awards and fans. Yet we don't know what goes on behind the scenes of this amazing show? How do they create the stunning visual effects, the thrilling action scenes, and the captivating characters? In this video, we will take you on a journey to discover the secrets of The Flash. You will realize how they use zooping, a term coined by the cast and crew, to show The Flash's super speed. You will see how they built a gorilla city from scratch using CGI, and how they made it look realistic and impressive. You will also witness how they choreographed a fight scene between Flash and Reverse Flash inside Barry's old house, and how they made it look like a work of art. And finally, you will appreciate the art of acting, and how the actors can talk to themselves when there's no one in the shot. So get ready to be amazed by the behind the scenes of The Flash. How Zooping Enhances The Flash's Visual and Narrative Appeal You know that thing you see whenever the Flash runs? It's called zooping. That's right, zooping. That thing where Flash speeds in and out of a scene, leaving behind these lightning streaks that look way cooler than the ones in the Justice League? How do they do it? Well, it's not magic, it's science. And a lot of air. And some red lightning effect that is added later. The name zooping came from a form of shorthand between cast and crew members to describe the kind of movement that Barry Allen was making. They thought it sounded like a comic book sound effect, like zap or zoom. And they all sort of came up with zooping. Sounds cool, right? The show has a lot of fun with this term and even uses it as a verb. For example, in one episode, Barry says, I'm going to go zoop over there and see what's going on. Zooping is not only a cool visual effect, but also a source of humor for the show. How VFX Created a Gorilla City for an Epic Episode of The Flash The Gorilla City was one of the most impressive and challenging visual effects in The Flash. The director and the VFX team had to build an entire city from scratch, using computer-generated imagery to create everything from the decor to the buildings and even the trees. They also had to design and animate four different gorillas, each with their own personality and appearance, so that it could easily film those shots in the Coliseum. Having just one set of gorillas would be fine, but it would be really noticeable and boring. And of course, they also had to think about making the gorilla armor, which was a unique and creative touch. It's not every day you see gorillas with metal helmets and weapons. The result was a stunning and realistic depiction of a hidden civilization that amazed the viewers. The Flash vs. Reverse Flash, a CG battle in Barry's house. The fight scene between Flash and Reverse Flash inside Barry's old house was almost all CG. They wanted to make it memorable, and the only way they could do that was by paying special attention to every detail. Even when Barry's mother spilled the wine, they made sure it looked like a work of art. And yes, the early draft of the CGI looks considerably different from the actual video in the show. It was so bad that even the Flash would have run away from it. The Art of Acting – A Look Behind the Scenes it's amazing how actors can talk to themselves when there's no one in the shot, isn't it? They have to use their imagination and pretend that they are having a conversation with someone or something that is not really there. For instance, in this scene from The Flash, you have the actress looking at a pole with a light bulb on top that only serves as a reference point so she knows where to look. The actual footage is of Grodd, a super intelligent gorilla, making his master plan and deciding how he's going to go about attacking Central City. He has this entire monologue prepared, and you think it must have looked really cool on the set. But no, the actress was alone in the scene, surrounded by three green walls and a green pole. Now, that's just sad. But don't worry, the actress is not crazy. She is just doing her job as a professional actor. Acting is an art form that requires a lot of skill, talent, and creativity. Actors have to be able to portray different emotions, personalities, and situations convincingly and authentically. They have to be able to connect with their co-stars, even if they are not physically present or visible. They have to be able to adapt to different scripts, directors, and environments. And they have to be able to handle the pressure and challenges of working in the entertainment industry. Acting is not easy, but it can also be very rewarding and fulfilling. Actors get to express themselves creatively and artistically. They get to entertain and inspire millions of people around the world. They get to work with other talented and passionate people who share their vision and goals, and they get to have fun and enjoy what they do. So next time you watch a scene where an actor is talking to themselves, then don't be surprised by how many poles there are. How the Flash's visual effects team creates a comic book world on screen. 
you might have noticed that the Flash excessively uses visual effects. Well, duh. Most of what happens in the show cannot happen in real life. Unless you know someone who can run faster than light, travel through time, and fight a giant gorilla. If you do, please introduce me to them. I'm a big fan. What is impressive is the fact that the team was working on a tight time frame, having to create a bunch of special effects every week for a new episode. Another problem was the fact that they were working on a TV budget, which is not exactly Hollywood level. But this did not stop the team from creating that magic. The effects supervisor of the show, Armin Kevorkian, said, It was definitely a challenge in the beginning. I knew it could be done, but it was just convincing everyone around me that it could be done too. A lot of these artists came from a TV background where they haven't done this type of work, so the mind frame was, if it hasn't been done, it can't be done. We should find a way to do it, and they did. The team has to come up with 23 episodes each year, meaning the effects team has to work extra hard all around the clock. It's also a bit hard getting approval for some of the designs, even though most of them were deeply rooted in comics. The use of comics helps the artists have a true feel of who the characters are, what they would most likely do, and what they would look like. The team also had to design computer-generated characters such as Gorilla Grodd and King Shark, and this was an extremely long process. Furthermore, there had to be an agreement between the costume department and the producers in creating these characters. For instance, while the team was creating the character of Zoom, the effects supervisor said the first step in Zoom was creating his look and that was a collaboration with the costume department and our producers to create a different kind of speedster look. Physically, we had two versions, the live-action Zoom that you see and then we have an all-CG version for certain shots. One thing we decided straight away was that his eyes would be more effective if they were just black to represent the soulless aspect of him and instead of vibrating him as we did with Reverse Flash, we decided because he's in our storyline, the fastest speedster around the crackle of energy is constant on him and the blue lightning aspect that was to differentiate him from Flash. So when you have them both in the same scene, you wouldn't get mixed up with the colors of the lightning. Seems like an extremely long process for a single episode of the show, right? Well, that's why we appreciate their hard work and dedication. And also, why we don't complain when they take a break every now and then. They deserve it. And that's that for today's video, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Also, don't forget to comment below and let us know which things impressed you the most. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.